I'm Krista Smith here on the red carpet in Toronto for the film 12 Years a Slave, an incredible movie that's igniting the festival. I got to sit down with some of the cast members. Here's what they had to say. It's great right now because I am sitting here with one of my favorite people I've known a long, 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 long time, Sarah Paulson. Uh, and she is in this film called 12 Years a Slave, which is blowing up everywhere. Mm. Everyone's got something to say about this movie. Yeah. And your character is strident, <laughs> like hard. You're, you're, you're the wife of uh, Michael's character, Epps. Yes, I am Mistress Epps. Mistress Epps. Yes, and he is Mistress. And you are living in the middle of nowhere. Mm -hmm. I mean, I'm just gonna take this as from a woman's point of view. Uh -huh. Okay, so it's 1840s. Mm -hmm. You're in the middle of Louisiana. the South somewhere, mm -hmm. Louisiana. Mm -hmm. No real society around mm -mm. you. You're married to a unhappy, Drunk. psychotic alcoholic. Yes. Right? Who has sure. his own demons. <laughs> yes. And you're pretty horrible. Mm -hmm. But at the same time, I felt for both of your characters, oh. even though you're, well, that's you good. do some horrible I do things. Do some, and you set some horrible things in motion. I surely do. I don't know. I, I can't apologize for it because mm -hmm. I do sort of feel that. Um, it is necessary to have a character like mine in the movie because mm -hmm. it helps to illustrate all of all that um, Chiwetel's character goes through um, and how harrowing that is. And if I kind of soft pedal it or try mm -hmm. to find a way to make it go down more easily, mm -hmm. I don't. I don't think. I'm not saying I'm responsible for why the movie is yeah. so great. I'm just simply saying that you know. Um, well, it's very it, real. You don't. We don't get any gift from the gentle female no, or the cultured and, woman, which I think is, is right. And I, that's right. Interesting. And but the only way I could do it as an actress because I read it and thought, this is. I don't know how I. How do I go to work with Lupita and these people that I have grown to love and who I know? And now I have to scratch her skin off with my nails and throw a, a carafe at her mm -hmm. face, and it's just. It's really brutal. And I thought the only way I'm going to be able to do this is if I figure out what is the motivation behind her feelings about this, you know? Mm -hmm. And I decided it was just a, a woman terrified of losing her place in her own society, mm -hmm. her own home, her respect. Her husband is in love with another woman. Mm -hmm. um, and when you're, you're usurped by another person in your marriage, it's terrifying. And if you're a person, which I believe uh, Mr. Steps is, which is a person who lacks a certain amount of depth and self-awareness, mm -hmm. her panic makes her act in really deplorable ways. And it's not that I'm not defending her, I'm just saying mm -hmm. as an actress, I had to try to figure out a way to get mm -hmm. into that headspace and not hate her, because you can't really hate the character you're playing. Well, how has the whole premiere and experience been here so far? Well, it was the first time I saw the movie because I was out of town wow. and I couldn't, I couldn't see the screening that they had set up. Um, so I saw it for the first time with a big audience and it was, um, I, I had trouble getting out of my seat afterwards. Mm -hmm. I think I'm in the best movie I've ever seen. You yeah. know, it just, the movie is so brilliant and mm -hmm. I think the acting is so extraordinary mm -hmm. and I feel very lucky mm -hmm. to be mm -hmm. anywhere in the vicinity. Yeah, that's great. Well, thanks for coming by. Thanks our, for having Our me. fancy studio. I like it, the shiny floor. I know, it's